Hi everyone, my name is Ross Hartley and I'm here to present my work on legged robot state estimation through combined forward kinematic and pre-integrated contact factors. To put it simply, this work presents a method for adding legodometry into a factor graph framework. Without knowledge of the upcoming terrain, legged robots can easily fall when encountering large terrain changes. Having a real-time estimate of the terrain map can not only improve stability but allow for high-level path planning. In order to build this map, we need to be able to accurately estimate the robot's pose as it moves through the environment. There are many state-of-the-art visual inertial odometry methods that can combine visual information with inertial measurements to estimate a robot's trajectory. This odometry problem can be formulated within a factor graph framework where a discrete trajectory of the robot state is estimated using nonlinear optimization techniques. However, many visual odometry methods can fail due to scarcity of features or when there is inconsistent lighting. So the question becomes, can we use legodometry to improve our factor graph based state estimator so we don't have to rely so heavily on vision? Legodometry refers to the process of estimating a robot's pose through noisy encoder and contact measurements. In this project, we present a method for incorporating legodometry into the factor graph framework through the combination of novel forward kinematic and pre-integrated contact factors. The forward kinematic factor relates the IMU frame to a contact frame through noisy encoder measurements. To implement this unary factor, we augmented the state to include the pose of each contact frame. However, this alone does not tell us any additional information about the motion of the IMU frame. We also developed a contact factor that pre-integrates high-frequency contact measurements to constrain the contact frame over time. To do this, we make the assumption that the contact frame is rigidly attached to the world frame. This is implemented as a binary factor that relates the robot state over two consecutive time steps. So the forward kinematic factor relates the IMU frame to the contact frame, and the contact factor describes the motion of this contact frame. Therefore, together, these factors will constrain the motion of the IMU frame, which will improve the overall state estimate. We implemented these factors in GTSAM using ISAM2 as the solver. Graph nodes were added every time contact was made or broken, approximately three per second. We tested the state estimator using data collected from a CASI series robot developed by Agility Robotics. Although we do have a multi-sense camera attached to the robot, these tests were conducted without the use of vision data to simulate the effect of vision loss. As the robot walks around the lab, you can see the estimated trajectory on the bottom half of the screen. Using IMU measurements only, the position estimate quickly drifts away from the truth due to IMU noise and biases, which cannot be estimated without the use of an additional sensor. Odometry is significantly improved when combining IMU measurements with our contact and forward kinematic factors. Although these results may appear trivial, this experiment shows that leg odometry can be used within a factor graph framework to maintain a reasonable odometry estimate in the absence of vision. If any of these topics interest you, please stop by our poster. Thank you.